Okay, this is a review of the Sony Bloggy Duo MHS FS2 from 2012. And um, right now I'm using the built in mic on the camera, the CX560 Handycam. This is what most people sound sounds like on their video on YouTube. But I'm about to use a shotgun mic to get much better sound. And here it is. Okay, now I'm using the shotgun mic, the Tac Star shotgun mic. And this is the Bloggy Duo. The reason they call it Duo is because it has a screen right there in the front and a screen right here. Let me turn it on so you can see. And, um,. Let me fix it up. It does have a built-in light. This has four gigabytes of built-in memory. There is no memory card slot, so you're stuck with four gigabytes. But this is good for like, if you make short video clips, like 15 seconds each, then uh, this four gigabytes would be just enough. With 1080p, 1080, 30p, you get 40 minutes with four gigabytes on this camera. And 720 30p, you get two hours of high definition video. There is a 720 60p for fast motion, you get about an hour and 20 minutes. There's also, I think, there is a 270p mode, you get a lot more time. Yeah, 270 30p, you probably get about six hours. And uh, as you can see, it says best for fast upload, which is very low quality. It's like 480 by 270 resolution. This is 1280 by 720 resolution, 30 frames a second. This one is the same, 1280 by 720 resolution, but it's 60 frames a second for fast motion. And then this is 1080, 30p is 1920 by 1080 resolution. And other menus are There is a flicker reduction. I got it on because it's supposed to be better. Some of these things, they don't really matter, but I'm not going to read them off. Format, you got to be careful with that so you don't accidentally delete everything. Then there is a date and time, which is actually right, except right now it's 7.42 p.m. Today is February 18th, 2015, Wednesday. But, uh... Daylight savings, I turn that off so it don't mess up. Like it'll change on its own sometimes. Or well, I don't know for sure. But over here there is a built-in light, of course. Which is very nice. On any camera you want a built-in light. Because it's the best ever and you never want to miss it. As you can see the light is on. And uh, I just turned it off. To zoom in you use this thing on the this right here. To zoom in you go up. And then zoom out, you go back down, you go down all the way, and then uh, to record, you press this. See, it's recording right now. Then whenever you press it again, it stops, of course. Okay, on this one, you get like, let me turn it off for one second. To, um, to charge your camera, you can use this. You have to use this to charge it, USB 2.0. Well, I don't know if that's 2.0, that's just the USB, but... There is also an HDMI slot. Let me open it up for you. And uh, here we go. It's mini HDMI. You got to have a mini HDMI to full HDMI to your TV. And um, I do have a thing for this. Let me show you. Someone in my last video had like a question about it being too small because it, it's barely going to fit. But there is a connector like this. You connect it on and goes into your laptop or wall outlet that has USB. If you don't want to use the short one, but it's always there, you can always use this one. And it works fine. And uh, there, this is the on-off switch, and this is the button to take a picture. This does have mono sound, and there is a microphone, and one of them is a speaker. And uh, there is a thing right here for a tripod mount. Now, the thing people like the most about this is there's a screen in the front. It is a 2-inch screen, and in the back there's like a 2.7-inch. To turn the other screen on, you press this thing right here. 
This is not a touch screen, so there's actually a button. Yeah, you can see it. You press it right there and it turns on the front screen. And that's pretty cool. See, you can see yourself. You can see this camera CX560 that I'm using in HD LP mode, which is good enough for this review. Let me turn this off. This came out in about 2012 and uh, it's pretty cool. It has a, uh, well, you know, it has four gigabytes of built in memory. My last review, I did this camera FS1. You've seen that. This one was the cracked screen, but it still works. My next review will be this one 3D Bloggy FS3. That'll be my next review. And after that review, I'm probably going to do a waterproof test with this one. So it'll be like another review, but it'll show the waterproof stuff, and that'll be awesome. Okay, the color on this bloggy is a violet color. Let me show you something. This is from 2012, and I got the 2010 ones. They're also the same color, the violet color, which is really cool. I do got reviews of these if you want to see them. The PM5, and this is a CM5. But this review is about the FS2. And um, this thing is only 4 gigabytes, but it's pretty cool, and it's a pocket camera, and it's awesome. But uh, it's, not, it's not something you want to use as your main camera. Let me show you something that you might want to use for a main camera. Let me show you this nice XR160. I use it for when I go walking. Let me show you the nice Wasabi Power Battery FV100. These are less than $20 on Amazon. and They're just as good as a Sony brand. And uh, I got this wide angle lens. This is the XR160. I did finish cleaning some of it. It does have blue stuff because it's in my sweater pocket. My hoodie I meant, and then the fuzz on there gets off. I mean, it works fine though. Look at this nice big battery. You get lots of time. I'm gonna try to make this short so you're not too bored, but this fisheye lens is really cool. You can actually see like a lot of stuff up close. See, look, isn't that pretty awesome? It's good for close-ups, but look at this. Look at this. Six and a half hours with this FE100 battery. And I got 47 hours on the hard drive, and I do have a lot of stuff on the hard drive, like my Grand Theft Auto videos. If I deleted all those long GTA 5 videos, I would have a lot more time. With the 160 gigabyte hard drive, you, you start out with 67 hours. And that's really good. Right now I got 47 hours, which is still good. I mean, this, this is an entry-level model, but it's good for, like, just walking around like I use it for. And it works fine. 160 gigabyte hard drive. It's wide-angle. does take the long battery. It's only about 1.4 million pixels for video. But it does have, like, full HD. Now, this is the Pocket Camera FS2, and my best Pocket Camera is still the TX1. The reason I like it because it has stereo sound and... Uh, it's high definition and waterproof, which is amazing. See, I got this one for $60. Oh, and this one, I got it for like uh, $43, I think. I'm going to have to look at this. I got a list of stuff that I did. Oh, yeah, $43. And I got it June 7th, 2013 from a pawn shop. For $43, that was a really good deal. But if you want something that's high quality, you'll want to use this. This is from 2010, and it's still good now. It still works. 240 gigabyte hard drive, and it also has an SD card slot. This is something you'd want to use for your main videos that you care about, your important videos. This thing is amazing. It does have night shot mode. The thing I love about this menu is they move the power button way out of the way. Like on most of them, they put it like up here, but on this one, they put it out of the way, and that's really smart. Night shot mode is something you always want to have on a handy cam. That's when you know you got a good one. But I love how they did this menu. This is really important to me because the power button is way out of the way, so when you're pushing these buttons, it's not going to accidentally turn it off. But if you know what you're doing and you're thinking about everything, then it shouldn't happen anyway. <clears throat> I just want to show you that for now. Okay, let me show you one more thing. This is the FS2, of course. And I do got a nice built-in light. You'd want to use this because it's very bright and it makes everything better. 
This does have a built-in light already though. This one takes like three AAA batteries, rechargeable ones because I'm really smart. It's really smart to use rechargeable batteries. You don't want to just uh, keep using, re, like having to recycle them. Like when they go out, you have to throw them away. Let me turn this light on so you can see. Okay. This is how bright it is. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's good for close ups. Let me show you this lovely thing. It's a. Uh, it's uh, pretty bright. See, that's the difference. I'm going to show you some test videos after this one. And I hope you enjoy it. This is pretty much a very nice camera. It's a nice pocket camera. Built-in light. It's only 4 gigabytes of built-in memory, but like I said, if you make short videos, that should be enough. And it does have a built-in USB for charging and getting all your videos off of here. This is the only way to charge it. And it's the only way to get your videos and pictures off of here. That's kind of bad. I'd rather have a memory card slot. So something happens to the camera, you just uh, you just take out the memory card and move on with your life and your videos are fine. But with this, if something happens, you're gonna have to take the camera apart and I don't even know if you can actually get the videos off then, but it'd be cool if you could. Got to be careful with things that you love. And uh, let me show you the, the, this is the actual shotgun mic that I'm using. Just want to let you know. Let me tap it. And uh, I got everything turned down. This thing is good. It takes one double a battery it's a rechargeable one as you can see because i'm very smart and uh this thing is good if you want to make good videos you need a shotgun mic if you're just gonna be sitting here talking this thing is good to talk into the set it's a stereo microphone too and that's really amazing and the sound goes in about right here if you really want one of these you need a camera that has a microphone input and uh, if you're smart about buying a camera, then you'll know you'll know to get one, of course. Just want to show you the microphone so you can maybe get excited about it and be start getting into it because it's really smart to have a camera that has a microphone input for that. But this review is about the FS2. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm about to show you some test videos, and I hope you enjoy those too. I think. This sensor on here is a quarter inch, which is not bad, but they do have one and two fifths inch, so that's bigger. The bigger the sensor, the sharper the picture, and the better it is in low light. Okay, this is my review the Sony Bloggy Duo MHS FS2, and I'm about to show you some test videos, and I really hope you enjoy this review. If you like my reviews, I'd really be happy. I mean, like, if you enjoy watching them, I'd be really happy. And I encourage you to watch some other reviews, and maybe you'll learn something and be a really cool video maker, movie maker, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying hard to be interesting on my other channel, my Zach TV 18 channel. I mean, I don't try that hard. I just do things that are easy, and hopefully people like it. But um. I just hope you'll watch my other videos after you watch this one and watch the other ones, you know. But I'm about to show you some test videos, so thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And here are some test videos. Okay, this is the Bloggy MHS FS2 Bloggy Duo 720-30p mode. Today is February 18th, 2015, Wednesday very cold right now my hand is hurting while I'm recording this this is 720 30p mode this is what it looks like it's a test video all right thank you for watching and goodbye for now okay this is the bloggy duo MHS FS2 720 60p mode this is really good for fast motion right now it looks pretty clear on the screen and today is February 18th 2015 Wednesday my hand is like hurting because the wind is blowing 
and it's so cold outside it's a lot of snow this is the nice quality this is really good for just like $43 I think I paid 720 60p you can actually walk and it looks okay this is what it looks like it's pretty cool I always use 720 60p on all of my uh, like bloggies and stuff because it's only 60p you really get from this all right I'm gonna stop the video it looks very clear right now I'm gonna stop the video thank you for watching and goodbye for now okay this is 720 60p on the Sony MHS FS2 this is like the vertical kind of video I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how good it zooms that's as much as you get that's like digital zoom so you can see it's blurry I'm gonna zoom out fast as I can this is what it looks like hope this video helps you see the video quality with all the white snow it might mess up the color because it's too bright and then too dark as you can see what I mean right here but it's okay I'm sure you like looking at the snow this is the road looks very clear right now okay I'm gonna stop this video today is February 18th 2015 Wednesday okay this is 1080 30p on the bloggy duo MHS FS2 this is the best video quality you'll get I'm holding it pretty steady I just turned the light on but you won't really notice a difference today is Febu February 18th 2015 uh, Wednesday this is the best video quality you'll get 1080 30p for fast motion you want 720 60p this is the best for the most pixels on the screen which is 1920 by 1080 so it's basically like 2,000 pixels right now 720 mode is about like 1.3 million I guess not exactly sure it's 1280 by 720 multiplied together um, so I guess that would actually be like 1.3 million because 1280 plus um, 720 would be actually it would only be like 1 million pixels which is half this quality but I don't know it's still cool to watch all right this is the highest video quality and I'm gonna stop the video thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now we all believe in Zach Zach is good he's gonna be the best director in the world get head anytime he wants I have all his playboy girls all over him get head anytime he wants I have all his playboy girls all over him Zach is good he's gonna be the best director in the world we all believe in Zach he's gonna be the best director in the world we all believe in Zach we all believe in Zach. 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 He's gonna be the best director in the world.